drums, the costumes, and the best samba dancing. Rio de Janeiro's top 12 samba schools are giving their all, but this is a far cry from what is considered the greatest show on earth. Instead of the lavish procession of thousands of dancers, each school is limited to a parade of only 150 performers, none of them revealing what they're secretly preparing for late April, when they will compete for the title of Carnival Champion. We were not expecting this, but we understand it is necessary to wait and celebrate as we always do. So we are putting on a safe event following the health protocols, which are still important for all of us. Everyone needs to show proof of full vaccination or a negative test for COVID-19. Masks are still required, but most ignored the rule to enjoy this small version of the festival, which is taking place in Samba City, Rio's Samba Schools complex. The idea behind this mini parade is to keep Rio's carnival spirit alive. The party is the city's global brand, a major source of revenue, and something locals look forward to all year round. According to a recent study carried out by Rio City Hall, $760 million flowed into the city's coffers in 2020 as a result of Carnival. That is not happening now, but revenue should come rolling in two months from now, when the delayed festivities get underway in earnest. We are holding a symbolic event to get ready for April when we expect to receive tourists from other Brazilian cities because foreigners plan holidays with one year in advance and there's no time for that. While well, most Brazilian cities cancelled their carnival celebrations this year due to the pandemic, Brazil ranks second only to the United States in its total number of COVID deaths. Here, some are getting a taste of the country's most important party. So this one replaces what's not happening this year, and it's just starting right now. I have to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> it was expected Rio wasn't going to let the pandemic totally ruin its carnival again, even if it meant organizing a tiny version of it. It's a vital aspect of the city's identity that has continued every year, despite the Spanish flu and two world wars. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.